what's going on everybody welcome to another episode of sick etv and today we're going to be doing a little video on reasons why you shouldn't get the galaxy note 10 or if you have the s10 why you shouldn't upgrade to the galaxy note 10 now we're doing just the regular note 10 not the note 10 plus if i had the galaxy s10 plus then i would be doing the same video on why you shouldn't get the Note 10 Plus or upgrade to the Note 10 Plus if you have it, the S10 Plus. But I only have the regular S10 and I'm going to do a video on why you shouldn't get the Note 10 or upgrade from the S10 to the Note 10 Plus. Now I made a little list on here of reasons why you shouldn't and as we all know the Note 10 uh, is getting released soon. It just went up for pre-orders, uh, especially for T-Mobile it's like 950 bucks. Uh, for 8 gigabytes, uh, 256 gigabytes of storage. Uh, the Note 10 Plus is close to $1,100, 12 gigabytes of RAM, and 256, and I believe there is a 512 option for storage as well. So let's go ahead and get down into it. This is my list that I made right here. I'm going to go ahead and check them off. Now the first on the list is going to be the display. Now the Note 10 plus, the, sorry, the Note 10, regular Note 10 comes with a full HD 1080p display. It's going to be similar to the display that you have on the S10e. It's still a dynamic AMOLED. It's still got the hole punch up top. And um, yeah, it's 1080p full HD resolution uh, for the Note 10. It is a 6.3 inch. The Galaxy S10 here is a QHD display, so you have a 1440 resolution on here. Really, really high quality display. You still have the hole punch up on the top. On the Note 10, you have it right smack dab in the middle. Perfectly, uh, my preference is over here off to the side just because it pushes it off to the side. I prefer this a little better. Uh, that's subjective. You guys may think otherwise. Uh, the, the uh, hole punch in the middle doesn't bother me that much, but I prefer it just to be out of the way. I've gotten used to the hole punch. I do not mind it at all. But the, t the uh, Galaxy S10 is an excellent display, better than the regular Note 10's display. Um, yeah, sure, you, you probably won't be able to notice a difference, but if you put them side by side, you probably will be able to notice a difference. And for $950, bucks, you are getting a 1080p display pretty much... Uh, on the Galaxy S10e, that was a cheaper device. They gave you a 1080p display. Uh, I believe it's like maybe a hundred dollars cheaper. That was still a little weird, but that was a small device. Uh, the Galaxy Note 10 is 6.3 inches. The Galaxy, sorry, the Galaxy Note 10, 6.3 inches. The Galaxy S10, 6.1 inches. That extra centimeter or millimeters, whatever it is, you're not going to know the difference between the two uh, phones. They're going to be pretty much the same as far as display size goes so that's one that's reason number one why you shouldn't get the galaxy note 10 you're going to get a far more better display on the galaxy s10 than you are on the note 10 so that's reason number one right there is the display uh reason number two i have here is not that much of a difference in battery now the battery on the galaxy s10 is a 3400 milliamp hour battery it's okay. It, it gets the job done. Um, after a eight hour day at work, I leave work. I'm about 50% left on my battery and that's with using Bluetooth, you know, all night listening to music, you know, watching some videos and stuff like that using the S10. Now on the Galaxy Note 10, you get a 3,500 milliamp hour battery. That's only a hundred milliamps more, not that much over the Galaxy S10. Um, you're probably going to get like four hours screen on time on either one of these devices. So upgrading to the Note 10 from the S10 would not be that great of a, you know, a deal right there just because the batteries are so similar in size, uh, 34 compared to 35, really not that much of a difference. Sure, the 1080p display may help a little bit with battery life, but like I said, not that much of a difference in battery life. They're going to be pretty much the same. Plus, on the Galaxy S10, you can uh, take the resolution down to 1080p if you want to. 
say power on that and run it just like the Galaxy Note 10 you could run it exactly like the Galaxy Note 10 no problems there so if you want to save some extra battery life you could push this down to full HD plus which on the uh, you also have a option for 720 which is HD plus on the Note 10 you won't have any of these options it is straight up 1080p no lower than that so next on the list is going to be let me scratch that off same camera setup pretty much for the Galaxy Note 10 as we all know we do have three different camera setups over here on the Galaxy S10 and the Note 10 you have your uh, standard lens you have a telephoto with two times zoom and you have an ultra wide uh, camera lens with uh, area of view I believe it's 123 degrees so same camera setup on the back um, same camera on the front I'm not sure about megapixel size but uh, either way still excellent quality cameras on the front so you're probably gonna get the same pictures same 4k you know recording on the front camera as well with that so camera setup is going to be pretty much the same for the Galaxy Note 10 now if you have now the uh, Galaxy Note 10 Plus does have that extra time of flight sensor uh, which controls the depth and you know stuff like that but for the S10 and the Note 10 cameras are pretty much going to be similar uh, your main sensor still has that aperture f1.5 to 2.4 I believe the telephoto does have a larger aperture at 2.4 while this one is 2.2 if I'm not mistaken or vice versa or something like that so other than that really not that much of a difference in cameras as far as the Galaxy S10 and the Galaxy Note 10 so another reason you have all been hearing, hearing about all over YouTube is the headphone jack yes Samsung finally ditched the headphone jack on one of their devices um, this is the last Galaxy device to have a headphone jack. The Note 10 does not have it. The Note 10 Plus does not have that little guy right here. Now, a lot of people may be pissed off about that. Um, I personally like having it. I don't use it as much as I used to. Uh, now that I got these, you know, headphones that have like a 16-hour uh, Bluetooth battery life, I really don't use the headphone jack a lot now back in the day. I had headphones that were four hours of battery life, then I would use it, you know, the headphones till they died, and then I would go to the audio jack for my uh, wired headphones. But I'll, it's nice knowing, a little peace of mind, that if these crap out, I could just run to my car and get my wired headphones and just plug them right in, and I'll be good to go. So, yeah, headphone jack is gone on the Galaxy Note series. Now, that is a little disappointing uh, since the Galaxy Note is supposed to be the best of the best you could do anything on that device you could you know it is powerful it has everything i believe the galaxy note 9 is the last greatest note device that samsung has ever released i haven't had it i haven't used it um i was hoping to actually get it for like the last time off of t-mobile but they did stop selling the galaxy note 9 so yeah no headphone jack you are losing one key feature on the Galaxy Note 10 that you do have on the Galaxy S10 and the S10 Plus. So another thing is the S Pen. Now if you're one of those people who buy a Note and most of the time you ask somebody, hey, do you use the S Pen? They're going to say no, they don't. Unless you're an architect or you like to draw stuff or something, you're just really into your you know your device and actually doing stuff signing documents and your business person then yeah you'll use the S Pen but most people who buy a note series do not use the S Pen and that is pretty much what you're missing on the Galaxy S10 is the S Pen which is not that big of a deal um, personally I've had a note well the last note I had was the Note 7 I like using the S Pen to take notes but other than that after using it I didn't really use it a lot, you know, as a stylist or anything. I tried to, but most of the time when you get a Note series and you get it, most people do not use the S Pen. My mom's had a Note 8. She never used the S Pen. My wife had a Note 8. Never used the S Pen. So unless you could be without the S Pen, you don't absolutely need it. Go with the S10. It's just a lot better uh, device, uh, overall better screen. You know, you have your headphone jack. 
if you don't need the S pin, the S10 is pretty much an O10 without an S pin. Uh, more uniform design, rounded corners on the Galaxy S10. Uh, the Note 10 has very sharp corners going around the edge. Uh, it is still bezel-less as far as having uh, screen to body ratio. The screen does go all the way to the edge. On the S10 as well, you have a little bit of a chin down here, uh, same as the Note 10. Uh, but the Note 10 is a little bit more boxier and the corners are a little bit more sharp on the Note 10. Here on the Galaxy S10, you have rounded corners. So if you hold your phone like that, you don't have a corner digging into your palm. Uh, so it's a little bit more ergonomic and a little bit more easier to handle. And as far as design goes, it is a little bit more uniform as far as the camera setup on the back. It's up top, it's right in the middle, uh, it is horizontal, uh, it is nice looking and clean. On the Note 10, you have the camera setup going over on the side vertically, and that causes some issues depending on how big of a camera bump it is with rocking. So if you have the Note 10 and you're using it on a desk, it will tend to rock a little bit, while on the S10, it is completely stable and really, really nice. You don't have that much of a camera bump. And personally, I like this look better. It's just a lot cleaner rather than having it over here on the side. It just does not look uniform to me. So with that being said, I think the construction on the S10 is a little bit better than the Note 10. And as far as the Note 10 goes, I've seen a lot of videos to where the uh, frame on a Note 10 is flat up top but then the sides it's like a very strip thin strip going along the sides for your frame and I think that uh, that's just too much glass uh, spewing over to the sides and on the display as well so more chances of accidental touches and dropping it you're more than likely going to crack uh, either the back or the front a lot easier and that frame sort of gives you a little bit more added um, friction or grab on the device so it doesn't slip out of your hands as easily. So that's just my take on the, the design on both of these devices. I think the S10 just looks nicer, it's a lot cleaner, it's rounded, and it just looks really, really nice. Uh, micro SD card expansion. So on the Galaxy S10, as we all know, we do have a micro SD card slot up here along with your SIM card slot. On the Galaxy Note 10, they decided to take that off. I don't know why. They have it on the Note 10 Plus, but they don't have it on the Note 10. It just does not make any sense to me. Sure, you could get 256 gigabytes of storage, but you could also get this phone in 256 if you wanted to as well. Um, so, And you also have the option for expanding the storage up to one terabyte with that micro SD card expansion. Now, personally, I like having micro SD cards. I can store all my music on there. If for some reason I need to do a factory reset on my device, all of my music and everything and pictures stay intact on that micro SD card and everything on the phone will be deleted. Now, my OnePlus 7 Pro, I recently uh, went from the developer preview for back to Android Pie and I had to erase everything on my device, pictures, music, everything. That was kind of a pain in the ass. So micro SD card does come in handy. I really really like having it so micro sd card 128 gigabytes of storage is a sweet spot for me for a device and storage wise so that is another reason why you should not upgrade to the galaxy note 10. Uh, as far as uh, processor wise they both have the same snapdragon 855 there is no 855 plus on the note 10 or note 10 plus uh, as far as ram goes on the note 10 and the s10 8 gigabytes of RAM, same gigabytes of RAM. The Note 10 Plus does go up to 12, but like I said, we're not doing a video on that. This is between the S10 and the Note 10. Both have 8 gigabytes of RAM. The Note 10 256 storage, S10 128 storage with the option of micro SD card expansion on that. So that's another reason why you're not really getting that much of an upgrade if you're upgrading from the S10 to the Note 10. Uh, you have the same reverse wireless charging on both of these. So if you want to do a uh, wireless charge, you can just turn that on. And then you could place your earbuds on there and you could charge them just like that. And the Note 10 will have the same feature. 
like there is nothing new about it you can do that on the s10 it's a cheaper device you can do the same things you can do on the note 10 so you will not be losing out on anything when if you wanted to upgrade uh, you also won't be gaining that much either but you still have the same wireless charge feature or power share feature on the s10 as you do on a note 10 so yeah cheaper and you can still do the same thing with that as well so nothing you know you're not losing anything there you'll still have it uh, power button so as you all know they did remove the power button on the Galaxy Note 10 now my only gripe about the power button on the S10 was it was too high but they still give you a power button to turn it and turn off turn on and turn off the device now on the Note 10 they removed this power button and they just pretty much gave you a volume rocker and a Bixby button that's it the Bixby button doubles as a Bixby button and a power off or turn off the device you know screen off button which is stupid I don't like that it's over here on the side I want it where my thumb could reach it um, having it on the left hand side underneath the volume rockers is just really really dumb and the fact that you have to change settings to make it into a power button or it is just a Bixby button they put a little you know toggle up here at the top to reboot your phone if you want to reboot it restart it etc um, I don't like that they removed the power button I don't know why they did it I don't see the purpose like that is does a server purpose is there anything behind that they just add just, they just left these two buttons over here volume rocker and the big speed button pretty much so yeah I don't like that they removed the power button on the note 10 and last but not least is the price now the galaxy s10 you could get it really really cheap now I'm sure um, probably below $800 I don't know how much T-Mobile is selling it for right now, but when it came out, I believe it was $8.99, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Galaxy S10 Plus was $9.99, but I'm pretty sure you could get this device really, really cheap, at least under $800, definitely, probably seven, depending on where you look. Um, so this has dropped in price quite a bit. The Note 10 uh, starts off at $9.49, which is pretty much $9.50, not counting taxes. So the Note 10 is very, very expensive for what you're getting. You're getting a 1080p display, no micro SD card expansion, no headphone jack. You're getting the same processor, same amount of RAM, and it's just the display is better over here on the S10. Headphone jack, same amount of RAM, uh, micro SD card expansion, hole punch is in a nicer area for me, at least on the Galaxy S10. Uh, yeah. If you have the S10, do not upgrade to the Note 10. Uh, if you want to upgrade to the Note 10 Plus, go right ahead. That may be a better option. But if you have the Galaxy S10 Plus, I don't think there's any need to upgrade to the Note 10 Plus. But like I said, this video is on the S10 and the Note 10. So if you have the S10 Plus, those are my reasons why you shouldn't upgrade. Um, if you want to get a Galaxy device, get the S10 Plus over the Note 10. Uh, you won't be disappointed. This phone is still really fast, really nice. I just got an update on it, so updates are really good on here. Sure, they're a little behind, but Samsung does update the device regularly, and this phone is still fast. Fingerprint sensors, they both have them underneath the display. There's no word on if the sensor on the Note 10 is better than the S10. Personally, I really don't care. The it's, fingerprint sensor has been annoying me lately. I just go ahead and use face unlock anyways. Uh, they both have face unlock, so there's really nothing new other than the S Pen. If you're actually looking for that specific feature on a device, you absolutely have to have the S Pen. Then sure, go with the Note 10. Uh, preferably, I say, try to find yourself a Note 9. Um, if you can, um, used or whatever, if Samsung still sells it. But T-Mobile does not sell the Note 9 anymore. But yeah, go for the S 10. It's cheaper. You still get everything that the Note 10 has minus the S Pen. Great display, even better display with that QHD display. Uh, plus, it is not 1080p, it's 1440. So S10 is definitely a good deal over the Note 10. So with that being said, guys, hope you, you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Comment down below what you think of what your thoughts are on the Note 10. Note 10 Plus 2, if you have any thoughts about that as well. If you have any questions about the S10, 
comment down below as well. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that little notification bell for future notifications on my channel. You guys have a great day. Peace.